Thibaut Courtois. David De Gea. Gianluigi Donnarumma. Three of the best young keepers in the game today. But waiting in the wings is a new generation. Christian Fruchtel. Abba Lafon. Pedrag Koivik. Young players already making their mark on the game of football, or widely regarded as the best of the next generation. But rumors abound of a player in a country without a football tradition of its own. And this player's name is Changcheng Shuman Yuan. And yes, I've been practicing that. Uh, I thought I'd start with a brief recap here. On the upper left are his attributes when we started the game. He had a current ability of 80. His potential ability is 199. When we last left, it was 2022, and his current ability had gone up to 146. He started his career at Hangzhou Greentown Football Club, which is a team in the Chinese uh, second tier of football. Uh, after a couple years there, he was sold to Shangang, probably the biggest club in the Chinese Super League, and he's been there ever since. I thought we'd take a look at the younger goalkeepers I highlighted as the next generation. First up is Christian Fuchtel, who is the keeper at Bayern. Uh, looks like he had a couple loan spells at Hertha. The question is, Manuel Neuer is still at Bayern. Is he going to get first team chances or is he going to have to wait for uh, Neuer to move on? Alvin LaFont is at West Ham. Where did he move there? He moved there two years ago for $18.25 million. Had a pretty solid season. It is doing okay so far. There are only 10 games in the Premier League schedule. And then... Frederick Okoyevic is at Milan by way of West Brom. That's interesting. He had three seasons at Tel Aviv, went to West Brom for 4.9 million, had three pretty good seasons there, and then went to Inter for 16.25 million. Had a good season last year. He's having a good season this year thus far. So let us go back and take a look at Changcheng Shuman Yuan. His current ability is 146. He is still at Shengang. 41000 a week. His contract expires in December of 2023. 47 appearances for the Chinese senior team. I think, it, I think we're reaching a point where he's either going to stay in China long term or one of the European clubs is going to come looking for him. He, he's getting to a point, I think, where his ability has priced him out of some of the other leagues that might have been looking for him. As an example, the, the previous time I tested this out, just to make sure everything worked, he went to Porto from Shangang, but he left for $4.7 million, and I can't see him going anywhere for, for that little amount of money, considering his skill level at the moment. But we're going to have to see uh, what happens there. We are going to go on vacation for 365 days. And we will be back to see how he is doing. Well, it is now October of 2023. Let's see where we are. He is still at Shangang. Oh, this is new. He's wanted by RB Leipzig. Interesting. 30 appearances, 24 goals, 9 shutouts, 3 players of the match, 7.17 rating. 11 appearances, 10 goals, 3 shutouts in the Champions League. 
five appearances, two goals allowed in the FA Cup. Five appearances, four shutouts in the World Cup qualifiers. I think it's safe to say China qualified. His ability is now up to 150. 60 appearances for the Chinese team. Wanted. Let's go see if there's anyone else interested. No, he's definitely wanted by RB Leipzig. So this is what I've noticed in the past. His contract ends in three months. And as he's wanted, he probably will not re-sign. But stranger things have been known to happen. Let's go forward to the European January transfer window, and we'll see what happens. Okay, it is the 16th of January, 2024. Uh, we're about two weeks into the January transfer window. So let's see where he is. He's still at Shangang. Boy, he signed a new contract. 85K a week until 2026. His value went up to 9.5 million. His ability went up to 152. Yeah, it's still. Nobody interested in him. Let's check this out real quick. First, 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 second last year. First. Last year they allowed 25 goals. The year before, 24, 22, 27, 25. Well, he's definitely turned into a very good goalie. The question is, is he going to stay in China? And from the looks of things, that appears to be yes. So we're going to go until October of this year and check up on him, see if there's any interest. And after that, we will keep moving forward. Back in a few. Well, another year has gone by. I think this is going to be a make-or-break year. I think this is when Xu Yuan will either stay in China long-term or he will move to Europe. I don't think he'll go to any of the bigger teams that I've enabled in the South American or North American countries because I think he's almost too good for them. I don't know that they could afford him. I would expect him to go probably somewhere in the 12 to 20 million dollar range based on his abilities i think he goes to europe i don't think he goes to a top flight team i think he'll go to a second tier team in one of the first tier divisions maybe a, maybe a schalke a roma an atletico madrid maybe maybe one of the premier league teams that isn't top six or Maybe the lower of the top six. I don't know who they are at this point. Um, anyhow, let's find out. Oh, wow. Okay. Shows how wrong I am. He is at Real Madrid. $225,000 a week. Valued at $21.5 million. Wow, when did that happen? It can't have happened too long ago. He's got six games in La Liga. Uh, his ability is up to 159. Let's check this out here. 27.5 million. Wow. Not bad. I looked at these two seasons from 2021 and 2022. This is when I thought he would have made his move. I mean, look at this. 30 appearances, 21 goals allowed, 17 shutouts. 27 appearances, 14 goals allowed, 17 shutouts. He only had 16 appearances for Shang Gang last season. I wonder why. Was he injured? 
No, not really. And he's not injury prone. That may have been one of the areas I screwed up on this. I gave him an injury prone of five. I, I probably should have made it 10 just to kind of say, hey, here's the baseline on that. Let's check out some of his milestones. Most expensive Chinese player ever. They won the Super Copa. Let's see. Shen Gang won the FA Super Cup in 2024. The FA Cup in 2023. Runners up in the AFC Champions Leagues in 2023. They won the Asian Cup in 2023. Third in the Asian Games Football Tournament. Winners of the East Asia Cup. Yeah, this is when he really came into his own here, this 2021-2022 season. Shangang vice captain. Shangang captain. I thought I saw something. China vice captain. What's China up to? 41st in the world. Not too shabby. Yeah, he came over in July. Um, I wonder. I wonder. Uh, how can we check this out? Um, senior squad, last season. Uh, I'll take a Malaga game. Kilo Navas. Uh, he was their keeper, and apparently he retired. And now he wants to be a general manager. Not really with stats like that. Let's take a look at their team. This is Miles Villar. He is a young Belgian player. He could have easily been one of the young goalies I listed in the opening. Um, he's playing for Anderlecht right now, I want to say. He's been on a lot of short lists for top level European teams, but I think it's his father that's demanded he develop in Belgium. Uh, current ability is 151, potential ability is 156, so he's topped out and he's the backup. Holy cow. So he went to Benfica from Anderlecht and could barely get a game in edgewise. Went to Leipzig, and Leipzig was the team that was after Schumann last year. Played a season there. And it wasn't a bad season. It wasn't a good season. It wasn't 27 million pounds worth of season. And then Madrid bought him last year as Navas's replacement for 40.5 million. He obviously got some games in. I must have clicked. I must have just chosen the, the wrong game randomly. 36 appearances, 38 allowed, 12 shutouts, one player of the match. That's, that's respectable. And then again, it's not 40.5 million respectable. And they just went out and spent 27.5 million on Shuman Yuan, and this is their backup? Wow. This is how they compare. Yeah, he's a little more eccentric. I I midlined him on that. Spielar's got a one. Spielar's got him in speed a little bit. And that's about it. I mean, he's still a good goalie. I think anybody would be a fool not to have him as a starter on their team, no matter no matter what level they're playing at. He's he's good. I mean, he's definitely elite. Can you imagine having both these guys on your team? You get a good defense in front of them. You'll be pretty darn good. 33-year-old Kulavi there. Grimaldo. Messi must have retired. You want to check that out real quick. Messi wants to be a head coach? Not with... No. Yeah, he just recently retired. I don't 
think so. Okay, so here's the plan. He's on a five-year contract. I don't expect him to move next year. I wouldn't expect him to move next year unless they just got some sort of insane offer for him, and I don't see that happening. But then again, all my predictions have been mostly wrong on this. So what we're going to do is vacation ahead three years, and we'll see where he is. Back in a few. Well, as we can see, Chang Cheng Shuman Yuan is still the goalkeeper for Real Madrid. His ability is 175. It's possible he could eke up a couple of more points, but he was, what, 170 the last time we checked? So five points in three years, especially with all the first team playing he's getting. I think this is about as high as he's going to go, maybe 180-ish. But as you can see, he's still a phenomenal goalie. Worldwide reputation, elite goalkeeper. Let's see, 170 appearances for the Chinese national team. 275k a week. Uh, looks like he signed a new contract. It expires in 2031. So let's check out his stats. So this season in the league, he had 31 appearances, 29 goals allowed, 12 shutouts, 4 players in the match for a 7.16 rating. Last season, 37 appearances, 32 goals allowed, 14 shutouts, 7.13 rating. Must have had a couple injuries this year. No, he didn't. Nah, he missed a bunch of games due to being on the Chinese national team. But let's take a look at his milestones thus far. Goalkeeper of the year runner-up. Won the Asian Cup. Runners-up in the Super Cup. They lost to PSG. 2026, they won the Europa League. In 2025... They were runners up in the Europa League. Um, let us check out Real Madrid here. So second this year, first last year, fourth the year before, and then second the year before that, he arrived here when they finished fourth. So they were in the Champions League. How they do in the Champions League? Let's go back and check the schedule. Oh, they were in Group H, and they got out of that. They lost to Man City on aggregate 3-2. to two. Yeah, here's when they brought him in on transfer. Originally it was 27.5 million, and then it went up to 39.5 million. Oh, they also brought in Firmino, Kulave, a couple other players that year. I do want to point out that Miles Villar is currently unhappy because he wants more first-team soccer. He got a lot of time in January when Schumann was on international duty, but I don't think he's going to get it here. And he's listed by request for $7.25 million. I think any club in their right mind would pay $7.25 million for a goalie of this caliber. Well, I think what we'll do is draw this episode to a close, and we'll finish up our third episode with the remainder of his career. We'll go forward in two to three year chunks, see what happens and how he moves on, and we will come back for that. So this will conclude uh, part two of the FM Jellico Mad Science Experiment. What if we created a keeper? As always, questions, criticisms, comments, leave them down below. I do my best to answer any and all that come across. If you liked what you've seen and heard, please click the like and subscribe buttons. It would really help me out. My name is FM Jellico, and I thank you for watching.